What's up, gems? It's your girl, Moniqua. This is going to be the weekly tarot reading for the Gemini Zodiac, July 30th until August the 6th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and... <laughs> Did I almost say penis? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, please check your birth chart to see where this could resonate in your life. Um, please like the video and comment. Tell me if this resonated with you in any way. Okay? Even if it was just a little bit. All right. And follow me on Instagram and only get to miss it with two eyes. All right. Did I say that already? I've been having a lot of deja vu. Okay. But I don't know. Either I'm switching realities or I'm, you know, that, that could only be it. Switching realities. All right. Oh, girl. Oh, don't mind it. What's going on with the Gemini Zodiac July 30th until August the 6th, 2020? What's going on with the Gemini Zodiac July 30th until August the 6th? Two of Cups. Everybody, oh, everybody going through some love shit right now. So, um, sorry about that. Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody got love on the brain. Somebody got love on the brain. Okay, so... Ooh, what just came out? Nine of Cups. <laughs> somebody got love on the brain, but they trying to they trying to make it seem like, I ain't thinking about that. Yes, you is. So, this Nine of Cups is coming up in readings to where people are trying to make it seem like they good, they cool, they calm, they collected. They not. They just trying to, you know, make it seem like they is. So, with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups here, there's somebody who has a certain connection in their mind. But they're trying to make it seem like, I'm cool, though. Single. Ready to mingle. Okay. No, you not. All right. You down and want to get bust down. Okay. <laughs> you down and you want to get dicked down. Okay. Whatever. What's going on with the Gemini Zodiac? Ooh. Mm hmm. Ace of Cups and the uh, Hangman. So, there's somebody that you really got on your mind. Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups. Oh, there's somebody who you really in love with. You really got on your mind, and you just, oh, God. Just ready to have them in your water. Okay? Just ready to have them in my water park. Okay? So, that's somebody who you really like, you really thinking about, and you trying to make it seem like, nah, it ain't nothing like that. I'm cool where I'm at. I'm good. Girl, you got this on your mind, but um, there's some sort of delay going on with this. So, it could be that it's just not time for you to have this connection yet. Probably is. It's not time for you to have this, um, this connection yet. It's coming. It's coming. It's just not time for you to have it. We got big water sign energy here. We got Cancer, Pisces, and then with this, any water sign. So, it's probably a Cancer or a Pisces. One of those. Should I put these two down? No, I'm not going to put them down. So, yeah, you got love on the brain. You're trying to act like that you don't. Be real. Okay. What's going on with the Gemini Zodiac? July 30th. Until August the 6th, 2020. What's going on with the Gemini Zodiac? July 30th. Until August the 6th, 2020. What came out again? The hangman. So definitely, it's not time for you to have this uh, connection yet. Um, It's not time for you to have this uh, connection yet. And I feel like, uh, oh, damn, you got the Eight of Swords on here. Um, stop thinking about this so much. It's going to come when it's time, okay? So, with the Hangman, I feel like you need to take a new perspective on things. You might need to come, you might need to, you know, like I said, you need to think about things a little bit differently, okay? Because it's not coming right now. That might mean that you got to go through another lesson. Okay, universe needs you to go through another lesson before they bring you this, this ace of cups. Okay, this connection that you want. You know this person or something? Because it's because you already envisioning yourself with this person, so you must know them. What's going on with the 
the world card. See, yeah, what I just say? You got to go through another lesson from the universe. So, basically, the universe is saying, listen, we need you. We need, oh, okay. So, the universe needs you to, to mature a little bit more. They need you to grow up a little bit more before they introduce you into this connection, right? Because there could be high priests at the bottom of the deck. Your intuition, okay, is telling you that too. So with the, and with the hangman too, yeah. So the universe needs to, I feel like, shape and mold you a little bit more before they get you this connection. Whoever this is, right? Before they get you this connection, um, you gotta grow up, mature a little bit more. All right. What just fell out? <gasps> what I say? You want somebody in your water park? <laughs> you want somebody in your water park? Um. Could be a new person. Um, you already envisioning who this is, girl. Could be a new person, but um, there's a. I'm telling you, there's a, there's a, there's a beginning coming. Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands. So not only is this, you know, BDE. Google it if you don't know what it is. Not only is this BDE, this is a, you know, this is a really loving connection, and this is like, this is this is something that you know, like I said, it's gonna come from the universe. Look at the fairy spirit. Angel, whatever you want to refer to it as. This is something that comes from the universe, but they need you. They 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 gotta they gotta you know rework you. All right. I forgot, was it Leo? Was it Leo or Virgo? One of those readings, um, somebody man. Somebody getting a getting a build they getting a build a man okay not build a burr build a man okay the universe is you know shaping and molding his ass like Plato in order for him to come to you correct and he had the Ace of Pentacles if you get Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups what damn okay what's going on I got three. I got three cards that came out we got the Knight of Cups. But the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So, okay, okay. Usually, I say not because he ain't shit. He ain't shit. But with the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, I feel like this is probably somebody who needs to grow up too. Um, this is Scorp. Damn, I got that pain in the, in in my in, in my back again. In my on my shoulders. This is this is cancer. This is a cancer. So, could be a scan scancer. Scancer? What the hell is a scancer? So, this is probably somebody who has cancer and Scorpio in their chart. Um, but they could be either or. There's somebody who is not up to par yet. They not. They not up to par yet. They got to go do some growing up too. But when they do, that ace of pentacles, that three of pentacles, they're going to be ready to come towards you and build something with you. Because even though this is three, it's only two of them. In there building and working, okay. This is this is two people working together. I'm I'm getting power couple teas, okay. All right, all right, gems. What's going on with the Gemini? Oh, what's going on with the Gemini zodiac? July thirtieth until August the sixth, twenty twenty. What's going on with the Gemini zodiac? July thirtieth, August the sixth, twenty twenty. Seven of Swords. Ooh. That's not good. Seven of Swords with the Hangman. So, now, oh, okay. Oh, God, I got Girl, okay, this is this is supposed to be love, okay? You got the seven of swords popping out. It's not that though. I feel like you kind of deceiving yourself. I don't know what it is concerning, okay? But there's some self deceit here, right? And it could be that you trying to um. There's something false that you trying to like project or present. Like, hold on, let me get another card because. It might not be the way like I had initially initially thought, but I need some help. What's going on with the Gemini Zodiac from July 30th? Ooh.
it's a cancer in here it's a cancer or a scorpio it's a cancer or a scorpio it's a water sign okay so there's somebody here who um watch the cancer reading because i don't know if this is him um or something i don't know <laughs> so there's somebody who could have been very um evasive whenever it came to you. Like, okay, with the seven of swords, this is somebody who always gonna come back to the scene of the crime. Why? Because the hangman is here. Because that's a traitor. Okay, that's a traitor. That's somebody who plays both sides. I feel like. Well, somebody up in here, bye. I don't know. Um, but There's somebody who was trying to, because with the, in this deck with the Seven of Swords, this man is trying to hide these swords. So somebody is trying to hide some thoughts, right? So there could have been a situation where somebody was trying to um, downplay. That's what it is. Somebody was trying to self-deceive that they weren't in love with whoever this person was. Because that, I'm telling you. There was somebody who was trying to convince themselves that they weren't in love with somebody. Um, and they were. Okay. They were. They were. They were trying to convince themselves that they weren't in love with this person or that there was uh there was nothing serious with this person. I'm like, no, you know, with the knight of cup, with the nine of cups, you know, this is just this is just somebody. You see how the hangman just flew over to him, okay? Somebody having an introspection period or a eureka moment. Somebody is realizing um, how basically they hung themselves whenever it came to downplaying whatever connection this was. Because um, didn't the Knight of Cups pop out? Look at all the synchronicities going on. See, this is somebody who needed to grow up. Both of y'all probably got to grow up. This is somebody who needed to grow up because this is somebody who probably... You know what I'm saying? Was dealing with a bunch of bitches, okay? Or somebody who just projected a false image with other people. Um, probably still do a little bit. But um, they, they, the universe has to, um, just this car on the bottom. The universe has to rebuild this person. And I'm hearing that the universe has to uh, reinvent this person because they need to they need to grow up basically they need to grow up and they need to realize um damn the universe really <laughs> you need to realize you in love basically somebody uh they telling this oh okay they telling this person that they need to acknowledge their feelings and not just you know let them take control not just let them surround them like acknowledge your feelings man okay this is heavy cancer energy this is heavy cancer energy and in the cancer reading, there was uh, somebody who was, uh, they was missing somebody from their past who they had a lot of regret with. Girl, you just flying from everybody reading? Okay. Damn. All the cars just flew out. See ya. Somebody, um, somebody has a lot of thoughts going on in their head whenever it comes to a certain connection and these thoughts they try to hide they try to make it seem like they didn't feel this way about this person could have been to this person or to other people or to just themselves i feel like it was themselves they was trying to convince themselves i don't like them i don't like them girl i don't like them you like them you love them actually i want to drop one more card i'm nosy <laughs> what's going on and then that flew out. Not only do you like them, you stalk them. You watch them. You be watching this person. Like, what did I, what did I say? They always return to the scene of the crime. This is somebody who will sit up her and you know. Oh, now you need yeah. eh, Air energy. They in and they out. This is somebody who will sit up here and you know what this look like. This is somebody who will like go check out your social media, save some of your pictures, and then go and this is like kind of how they like i'm hearing like keep in touch with you is there some sort of telepathy thing going on here somebody watches somebody's social media and they like screenshot their pictures and they save them in their phone so they can look at them at any time they would like you're freaking weirdo like <laughs> you're so weird like who is this who is this because they 
they're crazy. Like <laughs> they're trying to convince themselves that they're not even really feeling this person like that. But in essence, they are because they keep stalking and watching this person. Seven of Swords as well. You are so stalking this person. You stalk this person, whoever this is. You watch them a lot. King of Cups. You watch them a lot. Somebody also um, like to get their beak wet. Okay. Take that however you think it apply. <laughs> but somebody here, you know, they like to, they like to drink a little bit. I feel they probably like to drink a little bit. And they could, oh, okay, so it could be a situation that whenever they get drunk, they do this. Like, they, they get a little tipsy, you know what I'm saying? They start really thinking about this person, and they be like, I'm about to go to their social media. <laughs> okay. Damn. You saw that? It's two cards. Look at this. Look at it. So we got the fool and the six of wands. Six of wands is a Leo energy. So it could be a, there's a Leo in her. Could be a Leo in her. Um, there's somebody. Okay. So it's somebody who this, uh, this King of Cups, he sees them, um, just free and winning. Okay. They're just doing their thing. And they see a lot of people, um, like admiring them. They see a lot of people like them. Right. And they see a lot of people like them because they, they are who they are. Because I want you to look at this like, girl. She got one up. She got, I, I'm not a fan of the fit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a fan of this outfit, girl. She got on this little corset type shit with this fucking, um, girl, what kind of skirt is this? Is this a maxi skirt? A high-low maxi skirt with this damn corset. Like I said, I'm not a fan of it, but she rocked that shit like none other, okay? Not a fan, though. No. You can keep that. Uh, <laughs> but this is somebody who's their authentic self. They just, you know, they're just them, right? They don't try to be nobody else. Oh, see, that's why this King of Cups is watching you because you ain't got to try to be, you know, somebody. You ain't got to try to hide your emotions. You wear your emotions on your sleeve. Or maybe you're just, you know, you're an open book to where, you know, you don't pretend to be nobody. You just are, okay? You don't have to try to pretend to be nobody. And that's why he, he kind of, you know, he like to watch your ass because you were just your normal self. And he probably a little jealous of that, that he can't be his normal self. That was a lot, Gemini. <laughs> that was a lot. Um, we got, I think there's a Gemini here too. Um, Libra, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, this is an Aquarius. We got Aquarius here. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is an Aquarius. Um, but this, it, it could be, it can be any air sign, but I'm picking up an Aquarian energy. Um, could be a Gemini too. This is a Gemini reading. But yeah, yeah, somebody trying to play it cool, okay, whatever, do your thing, baby, okay, you can stay over there in that little murky water, okay, I'll be here, okay. Also, this person is it's like they um i don't know i just pick up on the fact this person just kind of like consider this person like a fantasy like they kind of like they can't be real if you watching them and you see them apparently they are but it's like this, this king of cups he kind of thinks like that you're more whoever this is whoever they watch they think of them more of like a fantasy you know what i'm saying like they feel like they're kind of like out of reach you know what I'm saying? The Six of Wands stood out to me because it's kind of like on a mountain. I feel like this King of Cups, he kind of thinks this person is out of his reach. So it could be like this, the King of Cups thinks this person is out of his league. Girl, how you gonna know that until you try to see, okay? That's all you gotta do is try, okay? Whatever. All right. <laughs> that was the weekly tarot reading for the Gemini Zodiac. July 30th until August the 6th. Please like the video and comment. Tell me if this resonated in any way. All right. You can follow me on Instagram at Onika the Mystic with two Y's. And DM me on there if you would like a personal tarot reading. All right. Bye, y'all.